balls with pepperoni. Fa la 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 la. Mustard, eggplant, and bologna. Fa la 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 la. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning you good. Well, I'm back from vacation and ready for some more learning goodness. Thank you, Jesus! Thanks, Lawrence. A little dramatic, don't you think? <sighs> Much better. Now today, you're in for a bit of a shock. Not only is this not the season finale, but it's also an episode about filmmaking. Yeah, you can go ahead, buddy. My God. Today we're talking about scoring your film, or put simply, adding music. But not just any music, so put down that worn copy of Pro Scores, damn it! I want to talk to you today about a reactive scoring software called Filmstro. Now you might have seen in the description of my videos over the last couple of months a line that said, Scored by Filmstro. That's because the guys over there hit me up and asked me if I'd like to test out their product. And I checked out their website, it seemed like a really cool concept, so I said, sure. They didn't ask for a review, they just said, if I liked it, keep using it and add that line to the description. But I gotta tell you, I've had a number of you ask in the comments where I got the music from, and on top of that, I think it's a product worth talking about because there isn't really anything like it out there. So let's jump into Filmstro and check it out, shall we? Okay guys, so here we are in Filmstro. When you open the software, you're greeted with this menu. As you can see, you have three options. You can watch a tutorial on using the software, you can open the demo session for practicing, or of course, you can import your own video, pull the finger out of your butt and get scoring. Now, as of this recording, I have 162 songs that I can work with within the catalog of Filmstro Pro. And well, that's a lot of songs, gang. So let's import a video and get into it. And I should let you know, this updated with eight more songs when I opened it. So it's an ever evolving thing. Once you've got a subscription to Filmstro, you'll never stop getting songs. I'll just grab this one right here. There we go. So let's talk a little bit about this interface, shall we? We have our song menus over here, and if you hit explore, you can skip through the various genres they're separated into. Once you find one that suits your project, I think this one will do. The next step is to scroll down a list of songs. Now, as I hover over one of them, you can see this little icon here that looks like a violin. And this means this represents an orchestral piece within Filmstro. There's also other icons like acoustic guitars, electric guitars, and more. You can also notice that all the songs have some descriptive tags that help you sort them out. Now I'm going to pick this one called Zanzibar and then push the play button to hear a sample. Now this is where the cool stuff begins. If we play around with the sliders below, you can hear a change in the music in real time. These sliders are called momentum, power, and depth. And basically, they represent the three controllable characteristics of every song ever made, really. Let's have a listen to the song on default. Nice. Now, let's knock all those sliders down, except for momentum, and have a listen. Different again, right? So, say I want to hear what the music sounds like slowed down. I just move that slider all the way on down, and if you listen now, We do have the same song, but its tempo has reacted to our change. How awesome is that? Next we have depth. If I move that slider up, you can hear the pitch deepen and thicken up with some bass instruments. If I move it back down, the bass goes away and our pitch seems to raise up a little bit.
Lastly, we have power. If I move that up, you can hear the strings kick in and it adds a lot more, well, power and depth to the score. If I move it back down, you can see those strings go away and it makes it feel a bit more minimalistic. So just as a last little experiment before we attempt to score this video in real time, I just want to show you a comparison. This is the song with all those sliders all the way down. And this is the song with all the sliders up. As you can hear, it's still the same song, but it sounds so different at the same time, and we were able to do that instantly. Now, as a personal preference, I render out my videos with no soundtrack for scoring, but you don't have to do that. I just like to match the music with the images. Now, you can see I've already imported my video and it's ready to go. So all we need to do here is drag that song into the timeline like this. If we hit play on the video, you might notice our sliders are zeroed out now. This is where the magic happens. I'll do a quick score for the first part of this video. Let's start with the depth. As I'm happy with the slow momentum, so we'll click on depth over here to display it on the timeline. That way we'll actually see Filmstro automatically making keyframes in real time as we move along. So the idea is we'll push play, and as we watch the video, we can say increase the slider to add depth where we feel it needs it. So let's do that now. Okay, depth is good, I'm happy with that. I'll now move on to power, doing the exact same thing, pushing play and adjusting that slider in real time to suit my video. And if you like, you can even adjust those keyframes if you're not happy with the way you control the sliders that first time around. And say you don't want to use the sliders, you don't have to. You can just make your own keyframes within that timeline. All right, that's all done. Let's check out a preview. And there we go, we just scored a quick scene in a couple of minutes. Now all we have to do is export it. So we'll head over here and hit the export button. And you're presented with two options, export audio or the audio and video. Well, since I know I'm taking this straight over to Premiere to finish up my mix, I'll choose audio. But the other option is there and that's a cool feature to have. So I'll just save out this audio. Done. 
Now guys, you may have noticed in the Civil War teaser, I cut the score when my other self phases through the wall and the comedic tune kicks in. Guess what? I made that right here as well. So in just one clip, you can already hear the versatility of the tunes in Filmstro. If there was one negative, I do wish they had a catalog of orchestral hits, swells, and you know the other stuff that you like to chuck in there. Maybe the ability for multiple layers and transitions, but hey, like I said, for most videos, I'm going to be heading back to the editor where I can do that anyway. But if you are so inclined, you can also alter the mix within Filmstro. As you can see down here, we have two options. We can control with keyframes the soundtrack volume and the actual video volume itself. So if you are so inclined and you want to do your mix within Filmstro and not take it back to the editor, by all means, go for it. So really, it's more of a nitpick. But what would a review be without a few nitpicks, eh? Well, that's my tour of Filmstro, gang. I will put a link to their walkthrough that adds a little bit more depth in the description, which I encourage you to check out. I would say, if you're not 100% convinced, go over to Filmstro.com, grab a demo, and have a play for yourself. So guys, that's a quick overview of the Filmstro music software. As you can see, it's a pretty cool bit of kit to add to your filmmaking arsenal. In the future, I'd love for them to add some stab hits and build-ups and swells to their library, but this is early days and I'm sure they're just getting started. Does it replace a composer on your film? Not a chance. But hey, it's easily the best way to score your films when you're on a tight budget. And speaking of that budget, I decided to give you guys an early Christmas gift and I hit them up for a discount code for all my film learning peeps. If you head to filmstro.com, you can use the coupon code MAGAD at checkout and save yourself 10% off the purchase price. I still can't believe they said yes to that. But that, my magical elves, is my time. If you enjoyed the video, please smash that like button. If you're new here and you'd like to aid us in our quest for 50,000 subs, click here. I'm sure I have some social media crap up there and links to other videos are sitting around here. But until Tim Allen is thankfully gone from our TV screens once again, those Santa Claus movies. <laughs> Keep learning and have a happy holidays.